Good morning, everyone. I've got you a video on uh, staging of gynecological cancers. Um, this is quite important for um, your MRCOG exams, and it's almost something that you revise right at the end uh, before your exam because it's quite difficult to retain all this information. But there have been questions in the past exams where they have um, described you uh, a description of cancer to say, oh, it's spread to the lungs or it's spread to the bladder and which staging this is. Um, so you kind of need to know um, the different stages to be able to work out um, what the stage can be and then be able to work out um, the survival uh, based on the staging. So this is staging for um, a carcinoma of the cervix, and this is the 2018 revised version of the FIGO staging, which is what you need to know for your exam. So stage one is the cancer is strictly confined to the cervix. Uh, 1A1 is invasive carcinoma that can be diagnosed only by microscopy with maximum depth of invasion of um, five millimeter um, cube. And 1A1 is measured stromal invasion of less than three millimeter in depth, 1A2 is measured stromal invasion of greater than or equal to 3 millimeters and less than 5 millimeters in depth. 1B is invasive carcinoma with measured um, deepest invasion of greater than or equal to 5 millimeters. 1B1 is invasive carcinoma greater than or equal to 5 millimeters uh, depth of stromal invasion and less than 2 centimeters in greatest dimension. 1B2 is invasive carcinoma greater than or equal to 2 centimeters and less than 4 centimeters in greatest dimension. 1B3 is invasive carcinoma greater than or equal to 4 centimeters in greatest dimension. Stage 2 is the cancer invades beyond the uterus um, but has not extended onto the lower third of the vagina or to the pelvic um, wall. 2A is involvement limited to the upper two thirds of the vagina without perimetrial involvement. 2A1 is invasive carcinoma less than 4 centimeters in greatest dimension. 2A2 is invasive carcinoma greater than or equal to 4 centimeters in greatest dimension. And 2B is with parametrial involvement but not up to the pelvic wall. Stage 3 is the cancer involves the lower third of the vagina and or extends to the pelvic wall and or causes hydronephrosis or non-functioning kidney and or involves pelvic and or periotic lymph nodes. 3A is carcinoma involves the lower third of the vagina with no extension to the pelvic wall. 3B is extension to the pelvic wall and or hydronephrosis or non-functioning um, kidney. Um, 3C is involvement of pelvic and or periotic lymph nodes irrespective of tumor size and extent. 3C1 is pelvic lymph node metastases only. 3C2 is periotic lymph node metastases. Stage 4 is carcinoma has extended beyond the true pelvis or has involved um, the mucosa of the bladder or the rectum. And this has to be bi biopsy proven. A bullous edema as such does not per uh, permit a case to be uh, allotted to stage 4. So 4A is spread to the um, spread of the growth to adjacent, adjacent organs and uh, 4B is spread to adjacent organs. Um, so to, sorry, to spread to distant organs. So 4A is spread of the growth to adjacent organs and 4B is spread to distant organs. So, um, so the way I remembered or try to learn this before the exam is by, um, so, you know, trying to uh, map it out in my head to know um, what age each stage means and to try and write it down so I can try and recall it better and then try to revise this every single night um, before I went to sleep um, just so just so I know how much I retained and how much I was able to uh, to learn and if I forgot something I just looked it up quickly and then was able to then get get on track. So staging carcinoma, so staging of uh, vulval cancer. So this is again 2022, 21 um, revised version of the staging. This is a FIGO staging. So there's, in this one, there's a comparison between 2009 and, two, and 2021. But I'd say stick to 2021 because that's a revised uh, guide, uh, you know, FIGO staging. So 2021 is the middle box here. So stage one is tumor confi confined to the vulva. 1A is tumor size is less than or equal to 2 centimeters and stromal invasion is less than or equal to 1 millimeters. 1B is tumor size greater than 2 centimeters or stromal invasion is greater than 1 millimeter. Um, stage 2 is carcinoma extends to adjacent structures, uh, nodes not involved, tumor of any size with extension to adjacent structures. 
one third uh, lower um, urethra, one third lower vagina, one third lower anus with negative nodes. Stage three is carcinoma extends to adjacent perineal structures and or any number of non-fixed, non-ulcerated lymph nodes. 2021 fecal staging um, 3A is tumor of any size with extension to upper part of the adjacent perineal structures or with any number of non-fixed, non-ulcerated lymph nodes. Tumor of any size with disease extension to upper two thirds of the uterus, upper two thirds of the vagina, bladder mucosa, rectal mucosa, or regional lymph node metastases less than or equal to five millimeters. 3B is regional lymph nodes metastases greater than five millimeters. 3C is regional lymph node metastases with extracapsular spread. Stage four is carcinoma has extended beyond the true pelvis. So 4A is disease, disease fixed to the pelvic bone um, or fixed or ulcerated uh, regional lymph node metastases. 4B is any distant metastases. All of this information is what I've taken from the BGCS guidance, which is what um, you should be uh, looking at as well for your revision for oncology. Okay, so this is um, staging of uterine cancer. So you've got 1, 1A, 1B, 2, 3, 3A, 3B, 3C1, 3C2, 4A and 4B. So stage one is tumor confined to the um, to the uterus. Um, for, so 1A is no, no or less than 50% 50, 50 of myometrial invasion. Um, it has not spread to nearby lymph nodes or to distant sites. 1B is invasion equal to or more than 50% of the myometrium. It has not spread to um, nearby lymph nodes or to distant sites. Um, stage two is tumor invades cervical stroma, but has not spread beyond the uterus. It has not spread to nearby lymph nodes or to distant sites. Stage three is a local and or regional spread of tumor. It has not spread to nearby lymph nodes or to distant sites. 3A is tumor inv invades the cirrhosa of the uterus and or adenexa. It has not spread to nearby lymph nodes or to distant sites. 3B is a vaginal and or parametrial involvement. It has not spread to nearby lymph nodes or to distant sites. 3C1 is tumor confined to the uterus, metastases to pelvic lymph nodes, but not to parioteic nodes or to distant sites. 3C2 is tumor confined to uterus, uh, metastases to parioteic lymph nodes, um, at, but not distant sites. 4A is tumor invasion of bladder and or bowel mucosa. It may or may not have spread to lymph nodes, but has not um, spread to distant sites. 4B is distant metastases, including to inguinal lymph nodes, intra-abdominal metastases, or to organs away from the uterus, such as um, the lungs, liver, or the bones. The cancer can be of, um, of any size, and it might or, um, or might not have spread to other lymph nodes. Okay, so this is um, staging for um, uh, lemosarcoma and endometrial um, stromal sarcomas. So um, stage one is a tumor uh, limited to the uterus. 1A is less than 5 centimeters. 1B is more than 5 centimeters. Stage two is tumor extends beyond the uterus within the pelvis. 2A is at an excellent involvement. 2B is involvement of other pelvic issue, um, tissues. 3 is um, tumor invades abdominal tissues. Um, one, uh, 3A is one side, 3B is more than one side, 3C is metastases to pelvic uh, and or parotic lymph nodes, 4A is tumor in raids bladder and rectum, and 4B is distance metastases. Adenosarcoma, so tumor in, uh, in, limited to the uterus, stage 1. 1A is tumor limited to endometrium, um, endocervix, or with no myometrial invasion. 1B is less than or equal to 50% um, myometrial invasion. 1C is more than 50% myometrial invasion. Um, stage 2 is tumor extends beyond the uterus within the pelvis. 2A is at an external involvement. 2B is tumor extends to um, extra uterine pelvic tissue. Um, stage 3 is tumor um, invades uh, abdominal uh, tissues. And stage 3A is one side. 3B is more than one side. Um, 3C is metastases to pelvic and or periotic lymph nodes. 
and stage 4a is tumor um, invades uh, bladder and or rectum and stage 4b is distant metastases so this is uh, a tumor of the um, uh, ovaries so FIGO staging 2009, so FIGO 1A is tumor li limited to one ovary or fallopian tube, no tumor on ovarian or fallopian tube surface, no malignant cells in the ascites or peritoneal um, washing. So this is all stage one. So 1B is tumor limited to both ovaries or fallopian tubes, no tumor on ovarian or fallopian tube surface, no malignant cells in the ascites or peritoneal washings. Figure 1C1 is tumor limited to one or both ovaries or fallopian tubes with such surgical spill. Figure 1C2 is tumor limited to one or both ovaries or fallopian tubes with capsule ruptured before surgery or tumor um, on ovarian or fallopian tube surface. Figure 1C3 is tumor limited to one or both ovaries or fallopian tubes with malignant cells in the cites or peritoneal washings. Stage two is tumor involves one or both ovaries or fallopian tubes with pelvic extension or primary peritoneal cancer. So FIGO 2A is extension and or implants on uterus and or fallopian tubes and or ovaries. FIGO 2B is extension to other pelvic intraperitoneal tissues. Stage three is tumor involves one or both ovaries or fallopian tubes or primary peritoneal cancer with cyto cyt cytologically or histologically confirmed spread to the peritoneum. Uh, outside the pelvis and or metastases to the retroperitoneal lymph nodes. FIGO 3A1 is positive retroperitoneal lymph nodes only. Uh, 3A1 is metastases up to 10 millimeters. 3A1-2, um, so there's 3A1 and 3A1-1-2 is metastases more than 10 millimeters. Um, 3A2 is microscopic extrapelvic uh, peritoneal involvement with or without positive uh, retroperitoneal lymph nodes. Uh, FIGO 3B is mi microscopic peritoneal metastases beyond the pelvis up to 2 cm in the greatest dimension with or without, without metastases to the retroperitoneal lymph nodes. FIGO 3C is macroscopic peritoneal metastases beyond the pelvis more than 2 cm in the greatest dimension with or without metastases to the retroperitoneal lymph nodes. Um, includes extension of tumor to capsule of the liver and spleen without parenchymal involvement of either organ. Stage four is distance metastases, um, excluding peritoneal metastases. So 4A is pleural effusion with positive cytology, 4B is parenchymal metastases and metastases to extra abdominal organs, including in inguinal lymph nodes and lymph nodes outside of the abdominal cavity. So these survival rates are from Cancer Research UK, I would suggest that you keep checking Cancer Research UK website uh, to get updated survival, survival figures. Um, but I have got them uh, today from the from that website. So they are pretty uh, much very much updated for now. So you can go ahead and learn them for your exam. Um, so endometrial cancer survival stage one is 90% uh, over five years or more. Stage two is 75% over five years or more. Stage three is 50% over five years or more. And stage four is 5% over five years or, four, or, or more. So it's 90, 75, 50, and then 5. Cervical cancer stage 1 is 95% over 5 years or more. Stage 2 is 70% over 5 years or more. Stage 3 is 40% um, over 5 years or more. Stage 4 is 5% over 5 years. Vulval cancer is stage 1 is 80% over 5 years. Stage 2 is 50% over 5 years or more. Stage 3 is 40% over 5 years or more. Stage 4 is 40% over 1 year or more. Apparently, the, uh, there's no stats for the five years um, for stage four for vulval cancer that's been released. Ovarian cancer stage one is 95% or uh, for over five years or more. Stage two is 70% over five years or more. Stage three is 25% over five years or more. And stage four is 15% over five years or more. Well, that's it really on all staging and survival figures. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, then please don't forget to um, uh, like the video and share it with your friends and colleagues who will benefit from this useful information as well. Um, as I said, the survival figures and the staging for different cancers is quite important for the exam. So make sure you learn all of this quite thoroughly um, and, I, and I wish you all the best for your exam.